I've been doing my spring shopping and I got some new pieces to show you, so let's get into this haul. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Ashley Park, this is Park Avenue and I have all the fashion content. So if that's what you love, subscribe and make sure you hit those notification bells because you do not wanna miss an upload. Now, if you were around for last Tuesday's live show, then you saw that I showed you guys a few new pieces that I picked up. Now, if you weren't, then make sure you tune in every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're live, we're chatting in real time, talking to each other, we uh, talk about different topics. I'll show you guys if I have anything new in. It's a good time, so make sure you tune in Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll have all the information in the description box. Now, as promised, let's talk about these new pieces because I'm trying them on. Can I call you Rose? First, this fitted vest. I really love this because it reminds me of a piece I actually got from Cost um, last year sometime. It is a knit with like a long sleeve and it's like cropped a little bit and you can like zip the bottom and the top, up or down, whatever you wanna do. So it kind of reminds me of that, but just sleeveless. And I really, really love that that knit top so this one i felt was perfect because it's just perfect for the warmer weather and i really like this because of that you know dual zip you can zip it up zip it down whatever it is fitted um so it just does have a really nice silhouette i love the quality of this one and it has like a little bit of stretch to it so it's very comfortable with the zara pieces i'm gonna have a link if i can but i'm also gonna leave like the code information in case it's easier for you to find it like this next piece which is completely sold out on the website i had to show this to you guys because if there's any chance you're able to grab it or find it anywhere else on the internet, I want you to be able to pick it up because I think this is so good. Now, this was like a random find on Zara's website. I think I paid like $3 for this. It was so inexpensive. I couldn't even believe it. This is like a corset style top and you can't tell when I'm holding it up. You can see with my trying one, but it has a very like fitted silhouette and it has boning. So it has a really, really nice structure. The only thing about this is that the sleeves are too long. Um, the straps are way, way too long. And honestly, I usually have a problem with straps being too long, but these are ridiculously long. But what's nice about this top is I can honestly just tuck in the, the straps if I wanted to because it has so much structure and it stays up. But I think I am gonna just get them shortened or I might even make it like a crisscross in the back. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go with the straps, but I'm definitely gonna do something with them because they're, they're way too long. But I love this top. And it has um, kind of like a cowl, like a ruching. You can kind of like move it around a little bit to kind of like mold it how you want it to look. But the boning on the inside helps it keeps its shape. And it really offers pretty good support. I have this in an extra, extra large. I would say that this runs small, but it's a really, really great top if you can get your hands on it. I'm gonna have all the information for this one in the description box. Next up, I wanna talk about some more casual pieces like sweatsuits. I have been looking for a good sweatsuit for a while now. In fact, the entire winter. And I haven't found one that I really loved. I was looking for a pair of straight leg sweatpants and a matching top. I finally found what I was looking for at Aloe. I had not been into any of the Aloe stores. Um, and I kept saying I was gonna go by. And finally, I was like, let me just go check it out. And I'm really happy with what I found. I grabbed these sweatpants and the matching top. One thing about these sweatpants that I love is the length. Uh, the length is perfect for me. I like a longer length in my pants because I don't mind them piling up a little bit. Um, for my sweatpants, I like them to pile up just a little bit because they are straight leg. I think it's very flattering. I don't want them to drag on the floor or anything, but I do like them to be a little bit of a longer length. This whole sweat set is unisex and I think uh, they made it the longer length because it's supposed to fit a variety of sizes, men, women, and all that. But the cut is really nice. I'm a curvy girl and I find that the, the, the hips, like the pockets, they do not pucker. They have slash pockets and when you have bigger hips, sometimes you'll find that the pockets will pucker. This doesn't happen. The waist fits really nice. I mean, it is a drawstring waist, but the drawstring is on the inside, which I really love because I think it's more flattering that way um, because they tend to be a little bit chunkier. Like the straps, the, the drawstring, string so when it's chunk whether it's chunky or not it doesn't matter because if it's on the inside it lays nice and flat and I like that they're just a really nice like quality a nice weight I like that I can wear these for a little bit longer into the summer because they're not too heavy and like fleece lined and just really chunky and all that so I can wear these for a long time it does say aloe 
on the sweatpants and on the sweatshirt, which I love the sweatshirt as well. I got the top and the bottoms in a size medium. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. You might want to size down if you want something more fitted. I wanted something kind of in the middle, not too tight and not too loose, but I think they are gonna loosen up as I wear them anyway, just cause they're sweatpants. This is gonna make such a good comfy travel outfit. Like they're so good. So I think I am gonna pick up other colors as well um, because I saw that they came in like a neutral, like a neutral like tan. It also comes in black and they might have other colors as well, but love this sweat set. I think it was worth every penny. And while I was in Aloe, I saw that they also had these cute little tanks. They're kind of like racerback style. They remind me of a, of a sports bra, but they're more like a tank bra hybrid because they are a nice thick rib knit. I mean, these are thick and strong, but they have good stretch, but they definitely hold you in. And I wear a size G cup and I can wear this without a bra. That is almost unheard of for me because I really like support and these fit so good like I highly recommend these these are so good so comfortable and they also come in like the basic colors black white and I think they have like a specialty like lavender color so I'm not sure if they do new colors every so often but it seems like they always have like the basics so I'm definitely gonna pick this up in black and white as well because these are gonna be really great under blazers and just like you know being able to style with random pieces throughout the summer I love this top so much it is so good Next, I wanna talk about these sneakers that I picked up. I was in need of just like a white everyday kind of sneaker. And I really love my yellow New Balance 1906s, the Ghani collabs. And so I was like, let me see how I feel about these. And I love them. I got these from Netta Porter and they were like such a good buy. I love them so much. I highly recommend. New Balance for me are my favorite right now just because they're so comfortable. I think their styles are so much fun. They're cute. Um, and I can just see myself wearing them for a long time. I'm not like a sneakerhead or anything like that, but I really, really love a good pair of sneakers, lately at least, and these are really, really working for me. They also have another colorway that I thought about getting. It's more like um, pastel kind of color combos, but not too overwhelming. I thought that was such a cute pair, but I knew that I would get more wear out of these. So we'll see if I grab the other pair, but these I had to get. And I feel like they look a little bit worn in because they're not stark white all over. They have like a little bit of a worn in look, but they're not like distressed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not like, you know how Golden Goose sneakers are distressed and marked up as if they had already been worn? That's not this, but it still has more of a worn in kind of look to me. I really love these. I think they're so cute. Highly recommend these. I also found another sweatsuit that I'm obsessed with from Anthropology. Anthropology has such cute pieces. They're a lot of fun. I feel like their pieces are whimsical. They have a lot of like standard pieces as well, but a lot of their pieces are a lot of fun and kind of unique. And this sweatsuit to me, when I saw the pants hanging, I was like, let me try these on because they kind of remind me of like a barrel leg jean. I've been showing you guys um, a couple of the barrel leg jeans that I recently picked up. And I love that these kind of remind me of that. They kind of like have like a genie pants feel as well. So I really like these. They are so comfortable and I love the color of these. And also the top that I showed you guys from Aloe, it matches perfectly with these pants, just so you guys can see. It's a nice combination, so I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of that aloe top. But back to this Anthropology sweatsuit, it's so comfortable. I love the nice wide waistband. And even though the drawstring is on the outside, it's a lot more slim and delicate, so I don't feel like it's like too chunky or anything like that. It's a really, really nice sweatsuit. And I also love the top. Because the top has a little bit more personality than just a plain pullover sweatshirt, it's also gonna be nice styled with other things like jeans, shorts. I really love sweatshirts and shorts, especially as we're getting into the spring. That's a really nice combination with just like some sneakers. Of course, you could throw it on with like, like spandex shorts, things like that if you wanna, you know, really, really casual vibe, wear it around the house, run errands or whatever. I just wanted some cute sweatsuits that I could throw on and not have to think about it. When I do wanna run out and run errands and things like that, um, I just think they're so perfect. And of course they're gonna be great for travel. So love this sweat set. And I also picked up this really cute dress from Anthropology, this tennis dress. Now, when we talked about this dress on live, I know a lot of you were really curious about how it looked and you might be wanting to purchase, but you're not sure how it's gonna look. I think this is such a cute dress. It is very sporty. It looks like a tennis dress. It has this gorgeous pleating at the bottom and it's nice and like, it's like a two kind of, it's like two fabrics. So this is more like t-shirt material, a nice thick t-shirt material. And then the skirt is very like, lightweight and like flowy. It's very cute, but it also has like a small little lining. So it's not completely see-through. 
Now, this is a very straight cut dress. It reminds me of like a flapper style. The silhouette is not going to carve out your shape. This is not the kind of dress that you buy when you wanna look slimmer or you wanna look curvier or you want to look taller, slimmer, whatever. This is just a fun piece, you know what I'm saying? And I know on my channel, sometimes I speak a lot about, um, you know, highlighting your waist and silhouettes and things like that. And that's great. And obviously those are just like, you know, just, broad general rules of how on how you can look better but sometimes you want pieces that are just fun that are just cute and you're not really thinking about all those other things and i think that's this kind of thing you know like it is still very flattering very feminine really cute but it's not exactly going to make you look slimmer or taller or all those things do you know what i'm saying let me know in the comments if you know what i'm talking about <laughs> and i love that it has this like little yellow detail because for a while i've been wanting to incorporate like pops of yellow into my wardrobe i have I had a yellow handbag. It was actually the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour. I had a mini version and I sold that. I felt like that wasn't my yellow pop. <laughs> so ever since I've been searching for something, you know, like a yellow pop to add to my collection. And even though this is not exactly the yellow pop I was looking for, I want more like a, an accessory, maybe another handbag. So we'll see. But I thought this was nice just because I've been having yellow on the brand. And speaking of yellow, I do have these yellow sneakers that I styled with the tennis dress. And these are my Ghani New Balance collab sneakers. These are also 1906s. And I really love these as well. That's why I picked up the white ones. If you guys can find these on like um, any other market, they're not available on the website anymore. So if you guys can find them anywhere else, then I would say go ahead and grab them. They also came in, in white with yellow accents as well. But they come with another set of laces. They come with a pair of like yellow laces that I thought I had here with me. They come with yellow laces, so you can like switch that up if you wanted to. Because I was thinking when I styled it with the dress, maybe I should have switched out to the yellow laces. But I think the black was fun. So we'll see if I continue to style it with these when I actually wear the dress. Or maybe I'll switch it up and throw on like a white sneaker or something like that. We'll see. And I also showed you guys this bag that I got from Aloe. I am so into this bag. I am very excited about it. You would have thought I bought it and paid for it. It actually came with the purchase. Now, I don't know how Aloe does things. If they like switch out their bags, maybe they switch out the print. I really don't know if you have to spend a certain amount. I didn't even ask. But I just thought this was such a nice bag. I love a really good bag for when I'm like doing returns um, or if I'm like, you know, running out and I just need to throw some extra things in the bag. It's just handy to have an extra bag. And this is really great. You can keep this in the trunk, keep it, you know, hanging on your door. So when you run out, you can just take it with you and, add, you know, throw things in it as you go. This is such a good bag. <laughs> like, I really love that. It really was like the cherry on top to finding the sweatsuit that I love. The next thing that I picked up from Anthropology is this sequin blouse. Now, initially I was very attracted to it and I thought it was so beautiful and I still think it's very pretty, but I don't know, once I got it, I just wasn't sure about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I do think it is cute. I love a sequin, you cannot go wrong. Something like this you can throw on in the daytime with a pair of jeans. As it gets warmer, you can throw on a, with a pair of shorts, cute pair of heels, and it's a really good going out outfit in the evening. This is a fun top that you can get a lot of wear out of and it's actually cashmere on this side. Uh, the knit is actually cashmere, which to me really elevated things in a really great way. I like that you can zip up this zipper or you can zip it down. Obviously, the top one you probably wouldn't zip down, but you never know. But it looks really cute when you zip the bottom up as well, just to give a different silhouette. It's fitted uh, at the waist and it has a really beautiful sheen. The dual color sequins. I think it's a great top, but I'm just not sure about it for me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now, the last piece I want to show you guys and the last piece from Anthropology is this cute little... A initial bubble letter necklace. I think this is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. It is in gold and it's actually 14 karat gold plated, which I thought was nice um, for something like this because it will last a little bit longer. But obviously, you still can't get it wet. I wouldn't spray like perfume and get lotions on it and anything like that because it's not jewelry. It's not real gold at the end of the day. It's just plated. But Anthropology's jewelry seems to last pretty good. And I just thought it was such a cute piece, something fun for the spring, summer. And if it lasts any longer than that, I'm, I'll be super happy. I'm actually currently actively looking for a jeweler that can maybe recreate this for me in gold. That would be really, really nice. But in the meantime, this is gonna do perfectly and it's a lot of fun, a cute little accessory to add and you can layer with it or wear it alone and it's still a really nice statement. And of course you can get your initial, it doesn't have to be A, you can get a W, a Z, a T, Whatever your initial is, you can find it because they had all of them in stock the last time I looked. That is it, you guys. That's everything that I picked up. 
so far. So let me know in the comments which pieces are your favorite. Are you gonna grab any of these? And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and check me out on some of my other socials. I'll have that in the description box as well. I will catch you guys in the next video. Actually, I'll catch you guys in the next live this coming Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll catch you then. Bye.